the years go so fast, I wanna make them last. Slow down, don't grow up, never forget my love. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to January's vlog. I know it's a little late. I didn't post for Christmas. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So the premise of this video today is just gonna be some general updates, a tag haul, some info on horses, a few big announcements, and just a little fun things here and there. I guess the first big announcement should be the fact that I did buy gravy. If you didn't see my most recent video, I tried horses. I tried about four. I liked three of them, had a really hard time deciding and I decided on gravy, but there's a little plot twist. I actually did up buying another horse that I had tried named Cadence, but I don't know. We put her in the lesson program here for a little bit. She just didn't really seem to like it, so I ended up selling her to one of my boarders. Other than that, Gravy has been awesome, to say the least. I'm really happy he's the one that I went with. Literally a dream horse, and he is just so beautiful. I actually took him to a cross-country course not too far from here a few days ago, and that was a bit hectic. Right now, I'm actually gonna go run him around on the flat and go over a few jumps just so you guys can see how much of a beast he is, how cute he is, and just give you an idea of what him and I have been working on. You may notice though that the FLEC doesn't have snow on it anymore. It all melted away because we're further down south now, and now we kind of have like this green yellow mush around the farm and it's kind of, it's kind of gross. Anyway, uh, I'll catch up with you guys after my ride. The light is fading fast from this old town we gotta go. Our bags are packed so while we wait and fall. No point in delaying what we both already know. Escape this time with me. Escape mm -hmm. this time oh boy. with me. So as you can see, him and I make a pretty good team. He's just, he's an excellent mover. Rainley and I do make a fantastic team and you're gonna see a lot of Rainley today. I feel like I should mention that. But Gravy, I don't know. I've never really had this kind of like a partnership with an eventing horse. And it's just so nice to have a horse of his level for once. Anyway, before I turn out some horses and then go say goodbye to Wade because he's going back to work today with Bones, I have about two more-ish big announcements. One is that we've actually started renovating Fawn Lake Equestrian Center and repainting, and I think it looks really, really good so far. I mean, it just it fits the vibe, you know what I mean? The second big announcement, drum roll please, is that Fawn Lake Equestrian Center now has a feed treat supplement, horse wellness, uh, medicine, tack, <laughs> apparel brand. I know, it's a mouthful. It's called Fawn Lake Feed and originally it was only supposed to be for my boarders to make things easier so they would have FLEC branded stuff, but I felt really bad and I didn't want to gatekeep so I just made it public to everybody. So far, people have been enjoying it and it warms my little heart. I take equine health very seriously and there were just some things my horses needed that I didn't really like from other brands. And this is not in any way dissing any other brand I've used or am partnered with. I still use Nectar on many of my horses and I actually use another brand now called Allstride for a few things. It's just nice to have a combo in there, you know? I mean, not every horse is gonna eat the same thing and I really tried to tailor some of the feed and supplements to you know, horses that don't really have representation in the feed market. I also take in a lot of rescues and so does my sister. She actually owns a rescue and all of our feed is backed by her approval because she has a degree in veterinary medicine. She's a smart little cookie and we do collabs very, very often. She has her own brand too and it's rescue and veterinary approved just as mine is, so you should also check her out. Light is fading fast 
From this old town we gotta go Our bags are packed so what are we waiting for? There's no point in delaying what we both already know Escape this town Wade and Bones have actually made a lot of progress in the past few months, and yes, Wade did shave his beard, I know. I was against the idea, but he likes it, and his face is naked now, so we're just gonna have to deal with it and pretend we like it. But anyway, they have made so much progress. If you don't remember what happened, uh, it's too long of a story to tell, but they've really been working on their liberty training, and as you can see, they've mastered the art of bareback riding, which I can assume will come in handy on their ranger duties at some point. Point, I hope. Wade's also been doing a lot better. There's still a lot that he has to work on mental health wise, but they both seem to be thriving as of now and that's what's important because they're clearly healthy enough to go back to work today. I of course am worried sick and it's really hard to say goodbye to him every time he leaves, but he loves his job and there's nothing I can do to pull him away from it. In lighter news, as just a quick update, I don't know if you guys remember a horse I used to have named Montero. Well, I got him back. Long story short, I used to have a different co-owner and she moved on to do her own thing and she took Montero with her. She ended up selling Montero to somebody who now boards at my barn and they were kind enough to give me Montero back. So you're a puppy bell. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweetie. I am so happy to have Montero back. I have yet to meet another horse like him since him and I parted ways and I am just absolutely overjoyed. I love this horse to death. I said you would be seeing a lot of rain late today, and this is the beginning of that. This is because we're gonna do a little show prep. Now, I have a hunter show coming up this weekend with him and Sahara. I'm hoping I can vlog it and make another show vlog with the both of them, but of course, a lot goes into that and I need to get him ready. So right now, he's just chilling. He has his ice boots on and I I'm gonna attempt to plait his mane, hopefully. But like I said, he, he had a little workout today with one of my friends. She actually rode him. So we're just, we're going to get to the nitty gritty of that. So obviously Rainley is this beautiful flea bitten gray color, my personal favorite color of horses besides like, I don't know, a liver chestnut. So he gets dirty really easily and he likes to roll, don't you? Yeah, you know you're bad. But anyway, we obviously are going to have to purple shampoo the living hell out of this thing. So better get on that. First, though, I'm gonna loosen up some of the dirt. He likes this part. This is just not coming out today, but I hope that is enough and the curry comb can get the rest of it out. And then we're just gonna slip the ice boots off. It's about time they came off. So that's done, and I'm actually gonna go in with the Fawn Like Equestrian head to toe shampoo. What in God's? Simon? Is this not the fifth time? All right, come back, please. Here we go. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna show them our tackless skills. All right, come on. So for once, wearing my GoPro constantly because I forgot to take it off actually paid off. But Rainley and I, we have been practicing our tagless riding for a little bit, so it finally came in handy as well. There he is. Let's see if I can get a halter on his head. Right. No. This is like the sixth time this week. Come on, Rainley. Come on. Keep pushing, old man. There we go. Come on, come on. Beat him, beat him. You're right on his tail. Come on. So I guess he tired himself out and hit a tree, but now it's time to do the walk of shame home. Yep, that's right. Halter of shame, and it's pink, because pink looks terrible on chestnuts, so he's being punished already. Are you proud of yourself, Bozo? Now get in and stay in, or you're not being turned out anymore. That's a lie, you have to turn your horses out. He's just really getting on my nerves. So that did not go at all how I wanted, and now Rainley is even more dirty, so now I have even more work to do. On top of, you know, the other pasture Simon jumped in and all of the hate. Do not tell me. Oh my god. 
doing a lot of liberty training with most of my horses just because it's fun and it really entertains the younger lesson students when the horses can do tricks. One horse I've really been working with is Charity and I know she's just dying to show you guys what she can do. And nod yes. Good girl. <laughs> and smile. There we go. I think Simon smelled the treats. Not like he deserves any- Oh, relax. He- he does know a few liberty tricks, that's probably why he's coming over, because he saw Charity doing it, so... Even though he was very, very naughty today, I guess I can show you a few of his tricks. Alright, mister, follow me. You know this command, come on. Don't play dumb. So that concludes that. He knows follow, rear, and speak. I know that sounds weird to teach a horse to speak, but he knows how to do it. He just basically screams. I guess it's called a neigh. Alright, he's freaking out behind me. Alright, mister, you need to chill. You had your five minutes of fame. More like 30 minutes, because you're in this whole freaking video. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a tack haul, and then I have to attend an event for my borders, and that should be the end of it. So, here we have Rainley as my model. He's going to model all of the tack I got for Christmas from none other than Wade Winwood himself, because sometimes I kind of just drill a hole in his wallet, but that's okay. At least he loves me, right? So first are these leg wraps that match the saddle pad Rainley just had on. This set was like kind of expensive. It was on my wish list for a while, so I was kind of just shocked Wade had bought it in the first place. So husband of the year award. Then there is these purple leg wraps that also have a matching saddle pad. Same brand, same price range. Was completely shocked when I opened this up on Christmas. Very grateful. And then there's these little pink boots. I actually didn't ask for these or have them on any kind of list. Wade just saw them and he said he thought of me, so he bought them. I mean, how sweet. I love pink. It's like my favorite color, so... Rainley is going to be wearing these very often. Then there is this, like, green-brown-ish saddle pad that Wade actually got from the Orbic Rangers. It was just one they had laying around and he thought it was pretty and nobody really rides English when they're in the Rangers, so... He just re-gifted it to me, I guess. I think it's pretty. And then look at this freaking pink saddle pad. I love it. It's not supposed to match the boots, but they are a similar color. So you just know that anytime I'm going to school Rainley, this is going to be on his back and nobody can say anything about it to me. Then I needed another hunter schooling pad and Wade was thoughtful enough to pick that up for me as well. This one's a very good brand, and it's actually the same brand, I believe, as the one I already have. This one just has sheepskin on it, so very, very nice. There were a few other things, but Rainley's kind of done with me right now and wants to go eat because it's around dinner time, and I'm kind of late for the show jumping show I'm supposed to be at, so I'm gonna head there and let Rainley get his fat on. The day is breaking softly and the night is glowing true. I feel a million eyes, but I can just see you. No rain, no thunder, it's 
just your light, your voice The heaven of our kiss, the wonder of our choice So breathe fun i had a lot of fun and results will be up and re as soon as so thank you all for coming <laughs> i know it was very weirdly run but you all did super super well um... and with that that concludes our january barn vlog the show was amazing it was run by my head stable hand sienna oak tree georgia Denver eventing. She has multiple names, all right? I'm just gonna say her real name. Thank you, Ren. You are the best, you are the best event coordinator I could have, and I am so lucky to have you make all these amazing events for our Discord server and our borders, and you are just the best of the best, and I adore you. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna get super sappy, but yes, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this one and I'm gonna try to get back in the swing of things. I know I get a lot of comments like, Amelia, you need to make more RRPs. Amelia, you need to make more vlogs. Yeah, blah, blah. I, I hear ya. And I agree. I just, I'm really lazy. All right. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week. I hope you have a good weekend. And that's that. All right. Be safe. Bye guys. We got a love that's worth